all of these rules have been broken. And that is the subject of my lecture. First of all, are mutations random? Very important book to catch up with what is happening very rapidly in the field of evolutionary biology is the book by the Chicago biochemist um, James Shapiro, Evolution of You from the 21st Century. He writes and he gives detailed evidence. He has thousands of references on this in um, his website. It is difficult, if not impossible, to find a genome change operator that is truly random in its action within the DNA of the cell. All careful studies of mutagenesis find statistically significant non-random patterns of change. In other words, there are hot spots in the genome. Moreover, as we will see later on, the frequency with which those changes can occur can respond to what the organism is doing and what its environment is doing. Just to give one example, p-element homing in fruit flies, these are DNA transposons that can insert into the genome in a functionally significant way. And what has been shown is that they do so with a frequency that is 50% greater in regions of the genome that are related functionally. We don't at the moment understand that, but one possibility is that it depends upon the organization of the genome, the way the DNA is folded and the way in which it is structured uh, <coughs> around um, its proteins. Moreover, not only is it the case that mutations are not random, another major assumption of the modern synthesis is incorrect. And we found that out at the time of the sequencing of the human genome in the year 2000, because the nature report of that sequencing showed that two major groups of proteins, the transcription factors and the chromatin binding proteins, do not show gradual change between species um, of the sequence of the proteins, but major domains switching into one protein after another. This is from the report, the 2001 report of the sequencing of the genome, showing domain accretion in yeast, in a worm, a fly, vertebrates, and human. And the stars indicate, that's all you need to take home from this slide, the domains that have shifted around as whole domains, not gradual mutation, one amino acid after another. And as you can see, there are many of them. The same is true for transcription proteins. So my first conclusion is this. Not only is mutation not random, that was one of the essential assumptions of the neo-Darwinian synthesis, uh, but proteins, at least some of them, did not evolve via gradual accumulation of mutations.